everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I bought this palette from Direct Liquidation, hoping it's going to be a quick and easy flip for me. We'll see how that goes, but uh, let's get into it. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. All right, like I said, it's a direct liquidation palette of vacuums, 86 pieces, Black & Decker, customer return. So I'm really hoping that some of these are in brand new condition. I paid $3.99 for it via auction. Um, it shipped to me for $212.45 for a total investment of $611.45, which averages out to be $7.11 per item or per vacuum. It was, um, like I said, I bought it at auction, which is a little bit different than how I buy some of my bulk stuff, but it won total separate bids and I ended up winning it. So hopefully it was worth the auction race. All right, so let's come on over here. We're gonna go ahead and just cut into it. I love that I could see what condition the boxes were in. And so we're just gonna go through and kind of inspect. There's gonna be a lot of the same items but I'm hoping that each individual item is going to be a good buy. Watch my second video because on my second video, I'm going to actually list everything and you'll see exactly how much money I made and which items I decide not to list based on condition. Uh oh, <laughs> hold on. I'm not going to cut any more. It's still attached a little bit because it's trying to like timber. All right. So we've got a black and Decker dust buster. So I might want to keep one of these for the Is office. It totally sealed. Um, it looks like it's been retaped, and it says it has return, um, but it doesn't say why. Just oh, a, an exchange. Someone exchanged it. Return reason defective. So that's going to clearly tell me that I need to probably test a lot of these, and so I won't be able to sell them brand new. I'll have to sell them open box. So um, we're gonna. Let's see if we can. Should make different piles effectively. Yeah. Okay, this one. Um, it just says lithium battery, but it's been opened. Item description broken. So so far not so good. <laughs> All right. These are customer returns though. I'm just hoping that some of the customer returns are I just didn't want it. Um, let me see, it says damaged. So far we've got three damaged vacuums. So the, the one bonus is that they're all the same. So I may be able to complete a set incorrect or missing items. It says I may be able to complete the set, uh, by taking a couple together. Like that one has missing items. So maybe we can take some from a broken one and complete the set. This one doesn't have a tag. Um, doesn't have a tag. So we're going to put it over here. Uh, this one has been opened and clearly not put back in the box very well. Um, I don't see this one doesn't have a reason. So I'm kind of putting all the missing defective ones over here. Um, return center. This one says does not work. This is not promising so far. <laughs> this one says defective. This one has a crushed box. Um, I don't see another tag on it. So we're going to put it over here because of the crushed box. Let's see. This one sounds terrible because it's all rattling around. So my guess is I'm going to have to open up each and every box and test each and every one to see if it works. This one has clearly been opened. This one has been opened, but it looks, the box looks better. This one says damaged. What's in this big box? Let me look. Oh. This is probably part of the 86 pieces. Just random pieces of the Dust Busters. It works. It's just been used. 
So I might be able to sell these used, so I'll have to check. If I can sell them used and they work, then awesome. So far, would you say this vacuum cleaner uh, pallet sucks? That's ridiculous. This vacuum cleaner pallet sucks, literally. <laughs> or maybe it doesn't, and I won't make any money. All right, so this is kind of a fancier one. I don't know why this one's been returned. It just says return, so we'll test that one. So uh, the biggest thing is I'm going to open up the boxes. I'll sell everything open box, um, but if it's still in the original packaging, that'll give me kind of a sense of it's definitely probably brand new, but I'll sell it open box like new. Um, this one says does not work. Maybe it just doesn't work as well as people like it to, but it does work. I don't know. Um, so looks like we're getting kind of all the same ones. Um, but we can maybe look it up and see what our used one's going for just right now. We'll see. So most of these are saying damaged or does not work is kind of the standard. So it might just be the standard thing um, stopped working. It might be the standard thing that they just click on the computer when you return an item like this. Does not work. Yeah, it looks like that's a standard option. But these are all the different kinds so we'll have to definitely do the, but all the boxes look in pretty good condition. Um, let's see, what's this one say? This one is taped upside down. Changed mind, too small. So this one's probably in good condition. We're gonna put this on the happy table over here. Lonely Cause that, one the lonely on the one table. on the happy table. All right, this one, doesn't sound promising. All right. So this may have been a bust. Uh, this one says missing parts, but I've seen this one before, so I may be able to complete the set from maybe a broken one. So think outside the box with that. This one says does not work. I think maybe the workers just click a button. <laughs> I just don't want it anymore. Okay. Does not work. And then it gets thrown into returns. They never put anything back on the shelf. Most stores don't. Um, so it usually gets put in a does not work pile and it may still work. So that's what I'm kind of banking on, but I may be too optimistic. Um, so we're just gonna keep unloading them and kind of seeing is there any that definitely just say, I don't want it anymore. Damaged. So this may have been a terrible buy don't know. It's hard to tell on some of them. They don't have a code, but alrighty. So poor quality. <laughs> That's what that one says. Look at poor quality. Return reason. There it is. So they just didn't like it. So I may be able to sell some of these new. We'll see. Or not new, sorry, used, open box. This one doesn't have a note. What's that one say? Damage. This one says damaged. I think that's going to be kind of the census here. Damaged. Most of them say damaged, which is why they ended up on this pallet. Um, and so I'm a little bit disappointed because it clearly is marked damage and it's called customer returns. So they probably should have put it on a salvage lot. Um, or maybe I'm just learning my lesson since I'm fairly new to ordering from direct liquidation. Maybe this is like a oopsie, bad mistake, um, incorrect item. Ooh, that makes me happy. So they just didn't want this one, evidently. I'll look and make sure it's the actual dust buster in there. So I've got two little happy boxes that are potentially in good working condition. This one says damaged. This one, let's see, no tag on it. Doesn't sound promising. Um, I, I have a feeling I'm going to be basically piecemealing some of these broken ones together to make good working ones. Um, I'll have to spend some time testing them. Probably will take poor quality 
Customer said didn't work good, bad power. Okay. Um, so I have a feeling I'll probably be going through this and testing everything um, and seeing how many boxes I actually come up with. But um, I think we've got a little more of kind of the same. Um, so my game plan so far is we're going to do a second video where I'll kind of organize everything and then I'll tell you which ones work, which ones don't, which ones I'll be posting online. If they have an open box, they'll probably be listed maybe on eBay unless I can sell them used on Amazon um, or they'll be listed on hookedonpicking.com. I've got some other fun things that I've just recently put on hookedonpicking.com. Check out my candy box, which is uber cheap compared to what you actually get in the candy box. Um, and so check that out. But these will definitely have to go through each one, test each one. Um, so my guess is, what do you think, Paul? How long will that take? Maybe two, three hours? Well, you got 86, right? Yeah. So we're going to have to open every box. Yeah, probably. Open up every box, uh, probably four hours, and we probably can test them all. And yeah know what we're looking at. Yeah, so we'll come back with you with a second video letting you know how many are going to Amazon, how many I'm putting on hookedonpicking.com, how many are going to go to eBay. I will not sell any broken ones um, unless, of course, it's for parts. Um, so I will look up on eBay and find out, you know, is the little accessories, are they being sold? Um, is just the motor part being sold? We'll see what we kind of have left over, but I will do a follow-up second video, but that gives you an idea kind of, of what condition things are in. Um, and so what to expect when you get kind of a small appliance palette of vacuums and customer returns. So customer returns clearly are exactly what they sound like, customer returns. So here we go. All right, we're going to start sorting and see how many of each we have, and then just kind of go from there. Is this one like totally different? That's purple. Yeah, it's all purple ones, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to put that All right, so the three main models we've got so far is we've got this black and death decker kind of light blue cordless lithium hand vac. It's kind of a smaller one. So we've got that one. And then we've got this one here. Let me find one with the, here we go. This one is a black and decker cordless one, but it looks a little larger on lithium ion vacuum for tough messes. There's that one. And then the other main one that we have found is this one. I'm gonna show you the back because there's so many stickers on the front. It's a Black & Decker Flex hand vacuum. Um, so it looks like that. So this one says, doesn't hold a charge, so. We're going to definitely go through and test everything to make sure what we're selling is good. Okay. Change mind. Another change mind one. Okay. So I've got some over here that are change mind. So my guess is that they're in good working condition. So I'll open the box, make sure, because they've been resealed by regular customer tape so um and then the only other kind we got is a pet dust buster it's purple in color so it says lift stubborn pet hair so that's this one here let's this is a better picture you can see pet fur buster is what it's actually called it's a fur buster paul fur buster, fur buster. so hopefully it won't take too long to process these the testing each one will be a little bit of a hassle, but if we can get, you know, 20 bucks out of each one, it's worth it. Um, because like I said, we only have $7.11 per item invested. So we'll see if this is a good or a terrible buy. I'm, I've got mixed emotions as of right now.
I do love that they come in the original boxes, though. That's that was kind of what appealed to me initially. Is that a new one? I think it's a new one. That is a new one. So this one is an advanced clean cordless hand vac. There's not really a good picture. Here's kind of a better picture. Dustbuster advanced clean cordless hand vacuum. We'll have to count how many of each kind we have when we're done. Excuse me while I throw, throw our profit around. So another one. This one's red. A dustbuster quick clean for the car. So so far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different styles. It's in this brown box. Mystery box. Oh, it's just something that's been reboxed. It's one of these blue ones. This vacuum sucks. Should we see if it works? There's one more different kind. Another different kind? Here, let me see if it works. Yeah, it works. Work. All right, this one is a Black & Decker Compact Lithium. Hand vac. This is the traditional back in the day. These are the dust busters that we had. So, so we've got what seven different kinds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different kinds. We got twenty-eight of these. Twenty-eight of those. Fifteen of these. Fifteen. One, two. One. One. Nineteen of these. And then we've got a few over here of those other kinds that had promising stickers that they maybe were in better shape than the rest. So we're going to go through and check all of these and see how good of, uh, of a load all of this stuff is. Um, so we'll see what kind of condition we can make all of these in and see how many that we can sell out of the 86. I want your guesses below of the 86 vacuums, how many are going to be in good resellable condition don't have to be new but how many of them will i actually be able to re resell as a whole set we'll see if we can figure that out in the second video and give you an answer but i'd love to hear your guesses on how many you think are actually going to be resellable so hopefully it's been helpful to see what is in this vacuum palette of black and decker vacuums um, and see how much money we can actually make see if we can make up our 611.45 that we paid and remember in the end jesus wins Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.